Hey guys, it's Carrie here. I'm back with another video. This time I have a video for you on the XP Pen Artist 12 second gen. This is a pen display from XP Pen, meaning a monitor that you draw on. And initially I did an unboxing a while back on YouTube Shorts, but I wanted to expand on that, especially since getting a pen display for the first time can be pretty confusing. Even for me myself, it was difficult plugging it in and getting it working up. And that's not an issue with the tablet itself. It's just pen displays have a lot of technical difficulties. Like the cable that this comes in with is very complicated. And if you have a newer computer that you bought in the last two to three years the ports probably do not support it you probably have all usb type c ports like i do on my laptop so you need an adapter and the proper adapter can basically break or change this and i had to troubleshoot for a little bit and even though this tablet uses USB type C as one of the connection options, the way it's designed, if you don't have the right USB type C cable, you run into a whole other issue as well as calibrating the tablet properly. So that's something that I do not see covered on many unboxing videos. So I'm taking the time, check the timestamp up here and you can skip through different parts of the video, especially if you've seen the unboxing part so far. And let's have the rest of the unboxing in ASMR style so if you can hear those satisfying unboxing sounds like this one. And guys i'm back and this is a quick size comparison to some other pen display that i do have like the artisol sp13 and this is next to the wacom one and how it compares in thickness and i'll have more comparison videos to cover all that and now let's get into actually plugging this baby in this is my laptop the samsung notebook flex and this is the stand that's actually from my artisol tablet because at this price point the xp pen did not come with a stand so now we're gonna go to the xp pen website to download the drivers i'll try to link it down below so you don't have to go searching the way i do and we're waiting for it to download and initially i had this plugged in through this random usb port that i got um through my dell laptop and uh, as you guys will see it's not working it's not picking up the pen input and i'm gonna zoom in more so that way you guys can see it's not picking up the pen input so if you're having that trouble unplug it and i'm gonna link this usb hub that i used before and this was sent to me for free and it works pretty well it actually works as a little stand for your laptop and it can handle all of the inputs and for the purpose of this video i'm gonna be trying it out through the original cables that i come through and later on the video i'll show you how it would work with the single usb type c cable i did try it but for some reason it just wouldn't go in but we'll save that for towards the end of the video and to plug this in it's pretty simple it's one usb type c cable it's pretty short and that plugs into your laptop and now we're plugging in the hdmi port and the two usb type c man pen display takes up a lot of power that's because i'm actually i don't really know why they take a lot of power but i'm happy that more of them are adapting the single cable but for now a lot of them have this type of messy cable setup and we're finally in i'm just adjusting the cables a little bit and just be careful in how you do this so that you don't trip anything and cause any um hazards in now, as you guys can see, we'll be able to see our cursor. It'll work. And this portion of this video is recorded in real time, so that way you guys can see how long it takes to boot up and things like that. And it works. Ah, you guys can see with the proper cables, it works. So we're gonna quickly test it through different drawing programs. First one, my favorite, Clip Studio Paint to see if the pressure works. And the pressure works fantastic. And 
let's test out the buttons it looks like the buttons already started to work um a lot of them were already pre-programmed with some shortcuts which is already pretty nice so that way you don't have to think you don't have so much to think about um at first to program them which is awesome and now we're back with some real time footage i didn't speed this part up so that way you guys could see the latency and things like that and there's no latency on the tablet it's so buttery smooth like i didn't experience any parallax parallax is basically when the screen is slightly offset from where the cursor is so i didn't experience any of that but i'm still gonna go into the settings to adjust the pen pressure and see what i can play around with and this is where you go to do that in the XP app and right now I'm calibrating the screen and this helps the tablet tracks that pen much better. It's where you go in and just click on different dots and doing that a couple times does really help. I'm not sure if it did anything this first time that I did it since it worked pretty well the first time around but I like to play around and try to check the settings and see what I can change. There's a curve graph. And we're back into speed mode because I just trying to go through a bunch of different programs at once. Um, Clipping Studio works perfectly. So now onto the next program, which is Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop is mostly a photo editing program, but it has some amazing brushes and the pressure works really well on there automatically. And Photoshop is one of those programs where I always have issues with brushes working. So that was amazing. Now we're on to Autodesk Sketchbook. Pressure works on there fantastic. The pressure worked pretty well in Medibang Paint as well. And now I'm going to be showing you guys the issue that I had with the USB port, which is another way to connect this tablet. This tablet comes with two USB ports, one designed specifically for the extremely long cable that we plugged in earlier. And then there's another one for any regular USB type C cable. And the issue with that is the way it's designed. It's so narrow that if you have any thick USB type C cable, it's really hard to get it in there and stay in there. So it gets really loose, meaning that it's really hard to connect this through a single USB cable. So in this video, I sadly didn't get a chance to. Overall, first impressions of this tablet are fantastic. There'll definitely be more coverage from me on this. Speed paints, more comparison. I definitely want to compare this to other budget options out there like the Tab S6 Lite and Tab S7 FE. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!